All right, you see the altar is set up here, the skulls, the flowers. You hear the strings playing in the background. That's because it is almost time for Dia de los Muertos. And today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about what you can see when you come to Chula Vista and celebrate and go and experience their celebration of Dia de los Muertos. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jesse Pagan, joined by here by Dominic Lamandri, the, down, the manager for the Downtown Association at Chula Vista. Dominic, thank you for being with us. Tell me a little bit about this celebration, what you guys are gonna be doing and what you're gonna have out there. Absolutely, so this Saturday in Downtown Chula La Vista will be bringing back our third annual Dia de los Muertos celebration. It's going to be happening from 3 to 7 or 3 to 8 o'clock, excuse me, in downtown Chula Vista right at Memorial Park. There is something for the entire family to enjoy, so we encourage South Bay residents as well as Chula Vista residents to come out to downtown early in the afternoon and really enjoy all the festivities that we got organized. Tell me a little bit about what we've got going on here. Obviously, we got a little bit of an altar, a taste Absolutely. of what people will see. So you'll see uh, many altars at Memorial Park on the day of. We're going to have a community altar there that we're organizing from the Downtown Chula Vista Association. We're also going to be having an altar building contest in which we have over 15 other applicants come to the park and build their own altar. So we're really going to have some creative spaces being built in the park. But throughout downtown, we're going to have different, different musical vignettes, different treats that the restaurants are going to be offering. So we encourage the families to come to the Downtown Chula Vista, start at Memorial Park, and make their way down 3rd Avenue. Tell us a little bit about why have a Dia de los Muertos celebration and what it means, obviously, for Latinos, Hispanics, and of course, Chula Vista community. Of course, well, Chula Vista being as close to the international border, you know, Mexican culture is very endemic in Chula Vista. It's a longstanding tradition, and so we wanted to bring that tradition and bring it to the forefront in downtown. So we created this program uh, just about three years ago to pay homage to that Mexican culture and that vitality in Chula Vista. And, you know, we've seen an explosion, really, of people coming out and uh, attending this event, and really it's been embraced by the South Bay community. So we're very excited to bring this back and we're hoping that the Chula Vista families as well as South Bay families come and enjoy and you know pay their respects and homage in downtown this Saturday. Yeah, let's get a little bit into here. So we've got an altar set up, which is a big part of Dia de los Muertos. We've got some pictures and this is kind of what you want people to come in and create on their own Absolutely. when they come out there, right? You talked Absolutely. about people bringing their creative A game when and they come out. Absolutely, yeah. So we had over 15 different competitors last year that came out and built amazing, amazing uh, altars and brought different offerings to leave there as well as community members came through and left their own offerings so it's very much a grassroots process there is a creative aspect but at the end of the day this is really about commemorating those loved ones and they have moved on and really basking in the family presence that we hold dear here in downtown Chula Vista. We've got Los Alebrijes out here performing for us today Absolutely. giving us some nice mood music for Absolutely. this. Of course they're also going to be playing uh, throughout the, the event that night as well in one of the stages. Uh, tell us a little bit about um, them and why, why why them today? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, as you walk through downtown, you'll see different different musical vignettes as well as different restaurants that are opening up the doors and um, partaking in this program. So uh, the the musicians you hear today, they're going to be at Third and Davidson, right in front of one of our newer restaurants, Lime and the Coconut. But we're going to have two other musical vignettes all throughout Third Avenue. So we encourage uh, family members to come down to. Uh, downtown Chula Vista start at the park as I mentioned and work the way back and forth up and down 3rd Avenue because there's plenty to see. Yeah, we've got Los Alebrijes playing. We're going to have, of course, the altar competition you mentioned for cash prizes, uh, live music, dance performances at three different spots, kids crafts, treats, food, vendors, if you'd like to buy some couple things, uh, photo ops, anything else I'm missing? No, just that the program is from 3 to 8. Uh, we have a movie that's starting at 7.30 that's going to be at Memorial Park. It's going to be Guillermo del Toro's The Book of Life. Mm -hmm. should go to about 839 so uh, as I mentioned before you can start your early afternoon in downtown and you can have a great nightcap towards the end of the night. Absolutely and just to recap that's going to be October 28th from 3 to 8 o'clock at night is yep. that correct? Is correct? That is correct 3 to 8, 8 October 28th downtown Chula Vista all this and more for Chula Vista's Dia de los Muertos celebration. Dominic thank you so much for being with us today and you can find all that information of course on our website as well. Marcella.